Welcome back. You're now watching the lifestyle segment on the weekend show brought to you by Holy Crunch Popcorn. In our intro, we spoke about how much TV time are your children having and what are they actually consuming. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, children below two years old should even be discouraged from using media at all. Meanwhile, older children should have between one to two hours of TV time on a daily basis. Addiction to this TV time sometimes could lead to an attraction to violence, to obesity, to antisocial behavior, amongst so many other factors. However, even before we talk about the TV time, what are your kids watching on TV? And joining us, we have... We have Zainab Agpan, CEO Amy Streets. Good morning and welcome to the show. Thank you so much. And yes, we have Farida Ashiru, who is the CEO of the Nesting.ng. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Thanks for coming. So in the last, just this year alone, we've mm -hmm. seen cases on social media where children mm -hmm. below the age of consent are now having sexual interactions. Now, some people have said this may be as a result of what they watch or what mm. they see on social media. Absolutely. Um, I saw some outrage online where Peppa Pig, a TV show, has now introduced um, like a same-sex um, relationship yeah. mm. for children. So let's talk about the content on TV for children first of all. What's that with you, Farida? Yes, for me, if you ask me what my take is on that particular one, when I talk to other moms and they tell me, oh, we're going to ban that channel, the question I ask is, what does that solve? To be honest, what does that solve? If you ban the channel, they would just find another medium to watch it. Mm -hmm. Or they would have their friends come to school and talk about it. Yeah. Because it's not every parent that's very intentional with what their kids are watching on TV. It doesn't solve anything. So here I spoke to Zainab just the other day, a couple of weeks ago we talked yeah. about this. Yeah. We said, what do you think, what's your take? And she also agreed with me. She said to me, it's not banning the channel that's going to resolve this issue. Because this same sex thing is here to stay. Whether you like it or not, Why it's not, called yeah. the binary non-binary movement. Mm -hmm. Recently, when you're filling out forms where you have gender, female, male, and then na the next step you see binary or non-binary. Or other. Or uh, other, yeah. exactly. So it's here to stay. So basically, I think for me, the thing to do is sit your kids down and talk to them. Yeah. Let them know what the new, what they call it, the new normal. Mm -hmm. Let them know what this thing is. Introduce them to it. Let them know firsthand from you, their parents, as opposed to hearing it outside. Mm -hmm. If you censor so many things inside, when they get outside, where's the censor in that? Yeah. My kids play basketball. You know this. Every time we go to the court, I always censor the F word, the B word, the N word. But we're, we're in court, and then you just hear all the kids spitting these words out. And then you're like, okay. So what did that censor do? They're out now, and someone said it. So you sit them down. You tell them, okay, this is this word, and this is this word. Yeah. But you know you can't say this word. Okay, so when people say, don't listen to them. They can say, but... This is you, this is them, you know? What do you think? I mean, apart from television, you've got children who listen to music, you've got children who read books, you've got children who go to places to interact with other people, mm -hmm. and then let's not forget the ages of the children, right? I have three, one's 14, one's 10, one is eight. Now, when we're speaking to them about this kind of same-sex issue, I actually approach them, and I speak to them according to their ages, right? So, mm -hmm. my oldest likes to read a lot and the good books have some sort of same-sex content in them. What I do normally is I sift through what my kids are reading because I do encourage reading amongst children. Yeah. Sift through and then we talk about these things. I believe parents should be open yeah. to, to listen to what the children are saying, right? Depending on what, what, in fact, whatever topic it is that the child wants to come to meet you with, you just listen and you cover down with the cartoons, there's also, are we allowed to call cartoons? Yeah. There's also this one called The Loud House. Yeah. The Loud House is proper funny. I actually do watch it. But when a sex, same sex um, parent was introduced, I had messages from different people oh, we're going to ban this, we're sending sign this petition, we're sending that petition. But I'm like, how is that going to change anything? Yeah. These kids go to school, 
these kids go to parties, these kids do other club they activities interact. outside school. They interact with different people. Like she mentioned curse words as well. I mean, I actually had a swimming instructor with my children and when my child didn't do something wrong, she, she, she's like, oh, F word, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So make the children aware, like these are the words that you shouldn't say, mm -hmm. not because mommy says don't say them. It gives you a certain look and you don't want to be perceived that way, yeah. right? And then for um, content that they get on TV, I mean, come on, we, I know that parents are so busy, but it's something that I believe parents should be intentional about. When yeah. my kids were growing up from zero to five, yeah. every single cartoon, every single book that was recommended for t children at that age um, with Google, I watched them. Yeah. I would sift through. My kids would go out and if they go somewhere and someone's watching something, they'll be like, oh no, we're not allowed to watch this and you shouldn't watch this too. And there are reasons why. So when you tell the child, don't do this, explain why. And I believe that would help them become um, wholesome as yeah. they grow up, become wholesome kids as they grow up, mm. you know? Yeah. So screen time just doesn't have to do with TV. It has no. to do with the phones, uh, tablets, and all of that. Mm -hmm. So uh, Farida, to what extent should screen time be controlled with kids? Uh, Practically, okay, let's make it a day. Two hours, okay. three hours, how okay. long should it yeah. be? For me, my household, <laughs> it depends on a lot of things. Mm, yeah. Screen time is dependent. You know, just how some household would say, you're, you're, you're grounded. <laughs> we use screen time, you know, for that. Mm. If you do cer certain things right, you get your screen time. But obviously, I give them an hour, an hour, 30 minutes. I have an app for that, yeah, actually. There's yeah. an app for that. And once it's that time, it just goes off. Mm. Can't remember what the app is, but I do <laughs> have that. You know, because sometimes they go behind your back and take it, yeah. even when you take it from them, you yeah. know. But now, in my household, they know when they have screen time. During school time or school days, there's no screen time. Mm -hmm. We only have, they only have their gadgets only on the holidays. Mm -hmm. Only on the holidays, or if we do have ho homeworks and assignments on Google Classroom, yeah. that's when we bring it out. Yeah. And as for the same sex thingy, I understand when they bring out cartoons with same sex because if you ask me, you have kids who have same sex parents. True. You know, True. they never chose that life, they did choose it. And then, you know, there are their shows that mom and dad mom and dad but they're at home and they know they're different mm -hmm. they have same sex parents what do they do it's not their fault mm -hmm. so i understand these cartoon networks oh yeah they want to be inclusive so it's not kind of like their fault you know at the end of the day because you know these kids who have same sex parents they want to feel like they're part of the world and you cannot feel like you're part of the world if everything you're watching on tv is oh mom and dad mom yeah. and dad meanwhile that child goes back home to a dad and dad yeah, or a mom mama mom yeah. so we understand we get it so that's why we say sit your kids down explain the new normal i was talking to manira about these things and i said to manira that's my daughter's name this is that 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 and she says oh okay it wasn't a shocker <laughs> for my daughter <laughs> at all even my son it wasn't a shock it was like it almost like okay yeah and she said it she referenced the loud house she said oh yeah they saw an episode in that yeah. and I'm like, okay yeah. and another yeah. thing i think is um it teaches the children acceptance yeah it teaches the so kids acceptance ac Absolutely. I, I, I actually use this to teach my children acceptance yes acceptance not just for the person's sexual choices but also acceptance for different things in the world because we're all different people, different yeah. colors, different religions, different tribes. Mm -hmm. So if you are able to be an accepting human being, not judging a person because of exactly. the choices that they make, make, you actually become a wholesome human being. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah but, but talking about that um, and even moving beyond screen time, mm. I, I was watching some TV show which was a remake of a comic, um, The She-Hulk. Oh yeah. And I, I, I talked about how cartoons were meant to be made for kids yes. comics however realizing that these are adults in most cases writing for children yeah. they would write to their extents of their bias and what they see mm -hmm. 
a lot of these TV shows now have a lot of sexual content. Yes, that is true. So beyond same sex and their orientation, mm -hmm. there's a lot of, we like a fairy tale story, so it always ends up with someone, a, a yeah. boy kissing girl or whatever, yes. and then there's the sexual content and mm -hmm. undertones to even mm -hmm. some of the jokes mm -hmm. within it. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. How do you introduce this conversation about sex education? to your kid because like we've now agreed that banning is not always the no, ideal situation always, exactly. so yeah. how and when do you introduce this conversation about sex education to the if kids if i may um i think i have all girls mm -hmm. so i think that the earlier you introduce it the better just depends on the age of the child mm -hmm. right so um there's a two-year and a four-year gap in my home when my two younger children were much younger, I would tell them, these are the places that no one is allowed to touch. You start from there. You really don't need to go into the details of what that what um, s um, sexual touches mean, you know? So I'm like, these are the places people are not allowed to touch. Why? Mm. Because they <coughs> are private. I got clips and videos, like cartoon versions of songs and all that they would. Mm. Yeah, so there was one called Pantasaurus, and we had that for years, and all my kids <laughs> live in Pantasaurus, yeah. you know? so. Um, that was one way. Now, I do have a daughter who's a teenager. And before then, we ha I would tell her, talk to me. And you know, as teenagers grow up, they become more yeah. into closed themselves. Up. They don't mm -hmm. want closed up. Thank you. They don't want to speak and all that. So I'm the kind of person that will push you. So I would say to her, okay, so just from listening to what happened in school, what this person said, what that person said, what kind of shows she's watching and all that. Now, um, I tell my children, you have to be able to grow up to intentionally choose right or wrong. wrong. You will make mistakes along the way, yes. But when you want to do things, ask yourself, can I do this if mom and dad were in front of me? Absolutely. And that is something um, that is something that I've carried with me even from my childhood into my children yeah. as well. Um, if how, how would dad react if I did this? How would mom react if I did this? My oldest daughter and I um, really connect through books. I like to read a lot of books and I like to read a lot of murder mystery books. She likes to read a different, she likes um, the genre, kind of like the sci-fi, Harry potter yeah. kind of books, but she's growing. Yeah. And in where different books are coming in. She's like, oh mommy, there's this book called um, we were liars, <laughs> how to kill your whole family, all this kind of really funny, scary mm -hmm. names. And I'm like, as long as you understand the context and also you don't let it get into you because mm -hmm. truthfully, all these things about sexual content even comes from songs, yes. Yes. right? Even songs that they listen to, mm -hmm. how, how, how far are you, how far are you gonna go to ban so many things exactly. if you don't talk to them? So without the child even knowing, you know, he says, oh, you want to listen to music? Sure, go for it, you know? Mm -hmm. And you're listening, I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's wrong, that's wrong. Yeah. Don't do this, that's wrong. Yeah. Immediately. And then I like to goad my kids a lot. I'd be like, yeah, make the wrong choice so that somehow it kick you out of the <laughs> it kick you out and then give your room to somebody else, you yeah. know, that kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, you, you have that. to constantly remind them, Absolutely. even if you think they understand, children don't. With screen time, same as hers. Um, in my house, screen time applies to laptops, tabs, and phones, right? Um, my oldest daughter will not use a phone until she's done with secondary school. Facts. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you want to interact with your friends, you have a laptop, emails, and all that. And parents need to put checks on these things. Yeah. It is mm -hmm. so important. Whatever device you have, there's a way to check it. Um, I know with Apple, um, you can install um, you can install an app like every email my child gets or any every get site it. she wants to visit I get a permission notification mm. oh this person wants to log into this yeah. are they allowed to same here exactly same or here. Um, oh this email just dropped in what are these apps called for people who don't know I mean um, this is a free plug and it's not being paid oh yeah, <laughs> Jeez, uh, it's important for people to know what yeah you know. for, 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 for Apple it's um, I know for Google it's family link family link yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not techie. That's yeah, yeah <laughs> that's but for but Apple, it's all in your, it's all, Apple, in your it's all in your settings. It's all in your settings. It's all in your settings. All in your settings. And and then you just have to register them, I mm -hmm. think, under you. Mm -hmm. uh, so and then yeah. for children who have Apple devices, I don't yeah. know if that applies to, I mean, Apple phones, I don't know if that applies to Android phones as well. Yeah. You can actually have on-off um, screen time. Yeah. Mm. So when, um, during the holiday, we tried something and gave my daughter a phone, yeah. right? And it was a, her, her dad's Apple phone. The phone would come on 11 in the morning 
and then switch off at 9 p.m. So you can set the timing. Yeah. And she's not, um, she's not on it. You know, it's really addictive when you're on the phone, even as adults. So imagine a child of the wide world of the internet. Put checks on the thing. You're not allowed to go on this side, this side, this side. You're not sp I don't believe any child should have um, a social media account until they're 18. Yeah. So, but that is just my that they handle themselves. That they handle themselves, right? If Absolutely. you're younger, then that let your parents ha um, handle it if you're even supposed to have one. Absolutely. So it's pretty tricky. It's pretty tricky. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, what in? I like a comparison for sure. both of you. Uh, what influence now does the things on screen or do the things on screen today have mm -hmm. on children of today compared to like the '90s, the 2000s? Because when I was a child. <laughs> My parents could leave me watching cartoon mm. for one hour, and they know that whatever is being shown is proper for a child, mm, a yeah. six-year-old, a seven-year-old, mm, that yeah. sort of thing. So, what uh, can you compare that to yeah. today? Well, for me, <laughs> you know what they call the the Zen Zs, or what what, what <laughs> you have that. Um, back in the day, for us, we had a lot of these same-sex things. It was there, it was there, but. They just didn't have the courage to come out of the closet, mm -hmm. you know, right? Mm -hmm. But now, <laughs> I mean, as I said, the Zen Zs, what do they call that? Is it Zen Z? No clue. <laughs> but I'm sure you know what I mean. <laughs> you mean like our generation? Yeah. No the, I mean, the kids' generation now. Gen oh, the Gen Z. Gen Z's. Gen Z's. Okay. And not even the alphas, the ones who are taught you those know? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. For them now, it's they now they come with knowing that they have a right <laughs> yeah. they come with okay. knowing that <laughs> though you know i'm a human i can do this i have a right to do yeah. that and so they're coming out everybody's coming out and social media has made it absolutely easy and free to come out mm -hmm. things we used to do you know back doors or hitting like smoking cigarettes smoking pots and stuff like that they do it openly now. Mm. Like they don't even care. You see them on TikTok and they're even, you know, doing it so that you can see that they're doing it and then you're like, Yay! But you know, back in the day it's like Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you know. You wanna make sure everything is hitting, how you smell. But now social media has made it pretty much okay. You you go for it. <sighs> you know, it's like an acceptance. You you go ahead and do it. That's why we say now is the time to checkmate it with your kids. Let's bring in another angle, which is the um, angle of domestic support staff. Oh okay. yeah. Um, you do all the work you can do as a parent, yes. but mm -hmm. you also need to make money. You're a baker. Yeah. You do what you do with the nesting. Yes. The ng, and so sometimes you have to get either relatives yes. to look over the kids, or pay for a nanny or mm -hmm. someone to watch over the kid and in some cases we've heard of cases of negligence we've mm. also heard of cases mm. where yeah. they have undue influence mm. and mm -hmm. some cases abuse mm. um, on the children what are the s what what things do you look out for when you pick who looks over your kids in your absence so mm. for um, sometimes I like to call myself the exception to many rules because okay. in my case we don't have a living staff right mm -hmm. but we do have a couple that come and go right um with my children first of all you have to respect the human being and in my and we, i don't tell them don't call this person auntie this or uncle that down to the security guard we call him oh mr a and then when the lady who comes to clean the house miss a you understand so that they yeah. know that there has to be that um, boundary that boundary one two um i let them know that this person is coming here to help us this person is not who you can um, write over. Mm -hmm. She's older than you, so mm -hmm. you cannot be disrespectful. Mm -hmm. I think if you teach them from that angle, and also when y you as the parent is relating with the person, you also have to project that kind of decorum as well. You have to give this person the respect because in the end, we're all human beings. Yeah. I tell my kids, we're all human beings. The only thing that separates one person from one person is opportunity. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the fact that this person is here now you should respect the work the person is doing mm -hmm. i will speak to you with respect i expect the person to respond in that way as well now um is it easy for um is it easy for a domestic staff to blend in with a family that is this way no because you know that they want to just come do their work and go yeah. but 
we, the, with the way we move and the way we work at home, we tell, we, we talk, you know, like, are you all right? How, is your, how are your kids? How's the family? After a couple of them, we try to um, inspire them in one way or the other. This isn't what you want to do forever. What do you want to do? How can I help? Mm -hmm. By the time you do all that you can as a human being to try and uplift another person and your children can see that, oh, you have to respect this person, mm -hmm. they would also, even if they try to fight it, it will be in them. Yeah. I tell them you have to greet people. <laughs> I once punished... Um, Many years ago, my oldest daughter walked, we went to a supermarket, and she walked past the guy who opened the door without greeting him. And I'm watching he made her. made her be a security you know, guard. I <laughs> pulled her out. I told him, Maga, are you all right? You need a break. She mm. will open the doors for people, and she will <laughs> greet them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And the guy, you know, she stood there, and she was greeting people for about three to five minutes. Since that day, every human being, whether you answer her on, th on the road or not, good morning, sir, good morning, madam. These mm -hmm. things matter. These things these things really do matter. So I think letting them know that this is a human being and um, this person helping you at home is just helping you. Mm -hmm. It's not taking over your role. It's not your sleeve. Absolutely. You start from there. And then if the person on their own decides to be the other way, let the children speak. Teach them to speak yeah. out on anything they see that's I mean, you off. do that with your domestic workers yeah. automatically, you know, they would reciprocate. Mm -hmm. I tell them, I don't mean, go to her directly. treat them Come a certain way mm -hmm. and then you give them all that liability, you put mm -hmm. all that burden on them. It's, it is frustrating. It is. I'm a new mom recently, just had a baby. <laughs> I've been reminded once again, <laughs> the frustrations. I mean, that's me, the mom. I'm mm -hmm. frustrated. And then you just put all that on somebody else mm -hmm. and it's not their child in as much as you're paying them. Yeah. Yeah. In as much as they paint yeah. them, yeah, it's bound. They're bound to, you know, lay their frustration out when we, especially if they know they, yeah, you're you're not so intentional. I mean, yeah, you can keep, you can have nannies and people looking after your kids, and then you can be very busy, but then you can also be intentional. Yeah, you know me. Yeah. <laughs> I will, no matter what I do, no matter how busy I am, I would rather have that person come around wherever I go with the baby. Yeah, yeah. I will yeah. never, there would never be a situation where I would leave my baby alone with another person that is a stranger. Mm. I leave the baby with my baby's father and then already in 10 minutes time, he's calling me. <laughs> he's frustrated. Babe, where are you? What do I do? Da, 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 da. Imagine somebody that's not related to, related to the baby yeah. or, I mean, what do you want that yeah. person to do? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So in as much <laughs> as we're busy, you kind of have to prioritize. You kind of have, with, with kids, you have to be intentional. No matter what you're doing. My mom was a nine to five mom and she was very intentional. Mm. Yeah. She would bag us <laughs> with until we were able to be left at home and she would say, you know, you can't do this, you, you know, you can't do this, you can't do this, you know certain things yeah before we go speaking of domestic staff and kids mm -hmm. uh do you or would you advise that uh, parents limit the screen time of these domestic workers as well oh. absolutely and how is that done seeing as they have phones look okay so i would so i'll be completely honest uh, with yeah. you the person the people the person who comes to our house you cannot watch tv <laughs> it's pretty no. simple yeah. do what you're coming to do and then go home Right? Don't I? Uh, I don't want you to work and you're doing this. So mm -hmm. I check all these things to be very honest because that's to be honest. That's one of the reasons why I do not want to live in at home. Mm -hmm. Not no judgment to anyone who does. Truthfully, because I mean I do exactly. I so do. You're not. She doesn't even have a gadget. You're not allowed to watch TV, whether my kids are home or not. Don't mm -hmm. do what you're supposed to do yeah. and go. Then for her phone, fortunately, her phone isn't a smartphone. So, but even if it was, because we do have a guard who has a smartphone, do what you're supposed to do first. If you've got time to chill and all that, maybe when you're eating and all that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But when you're working, please do what you have to do and then mm -hmm. go. But no, not mm -hmm. absolutely. Right. Any extras from you? I agree. <laughs> oh well. 
I think that's about so it. So I, I think that's a great place to leave, yes. Marida, Selena. Thank you so much. I feel yeah, this is a conversation yeah. which we must, must have. have. We must also, have. like you say, need to understand acceptance of people exactly. and tolerance. Yes. Yes. And we, <laughs> we are not some governments that everything you do is just bad. Yes. We need to be able to say, how can you manage the situation? Because like you rightly said, some of these things, these things are here to stay. Yeah. Yeah. Here to and stay. even if it's not in school, they have parents and they have different people around mm. them. Mm -hmm. And so we just need to constantly teach the children what to do and also ensure that as parents we are available for them to be able to communicate with yes. us yes. freely. Yes. Thank you so much for You're joining welcome. us. Thank you so, so much for having, having us. We will bring yes. you back sometime soon. Yes. Um, <laughs> and to our viewers at home, that's much you can take on today's on this segment of um, the, li on the lifestyle segment of the weekend here today. Um, we do have a lot coming up so 